Okay, so here I'm just going to be cleansing the hair with a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner by Pantene. This is my husband's hair that I'm doing, so it was just kind of a shampoo that I had lying around the house. So here I'm using a leave-in conditioning spray to pretty much resaturate the hair so that I can go ahead and proceed with the process of crocheting his regrowth. <laughs> I noticed there's a glitch guys and I do apologize but I just use a little bit of um, brown gel usually I twist with 
um, there's another product I can't think of right offhand, and I'll definitely list it in the description box as well. Um, but I just add a little bit of that, and then I palm roll so that I can get the the regrowth twisted tight to the scalp. And then I go in with a crochet needle, meaning you see how I'm going in here? I'll hook the dread and then close the latch and pull the dread through. Now his dreads were combined, so they're a little bit thicker. So I just have to kind of be careful on how I pull it. And I don't want to pull it too quickly because I don't want to damage or create tension. Um, so yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. So you kind of have to watch in order to get the process down. So here I am adding gel again to the root so that I can get some control when I get ready to detangle and palm roll. Then I'm going to go in with my crochet needle going in from um, several different directions. I'm going to go down, pulling the dread up, and then I'm going to go in from the side, pulling the dread towards the back of his head. Then I'm going to go in from the bottom, pulling the dread down towards his ear or his parietal ridge. And then I'm going to end with the way that I would like the dread to be positioned, which is going to be back um, kind of uniform like the other locks are. And here I am just putting it in the hook, closing the latch, and pulling it through. 